So chess has been undergoing a huge boom nowadays. And recently, I had a chance to play a few games with Logic on his stream. We didn't get a chance to analyze the games, but I'm making this video for him and for people around his rating level um, to see what the common mistakes are and how you can improve from them. Let's get right into the games. So the first game, I was playing black, Logic was playing white, uh, and he started with e4, most people do, e5, d3, knight f6, knight c3, bishop b4. So far, Logic's playing pretty logical chess, controlling the center, developing his knight, um, castle. Maybe the first mistake is queen f3, bringing the queen out a little bit too early. Knight should have been the one to go here. And I played knight c6, intending to go knight d4. Now, Logic played castle's queen side. So probably this is the first main point I want to stress on. Um, one of the most common mistakes that I see at this level, and that is not controlling the center. It's really important to control the center with pawns and pieces so that your opponent's pieces doesn't occupy it and start attacking everything. So here, a better move instead of castling, which allowed knight d4, would have been knight e2. So it's really important to make sure you control the center. Really bad things start happening um, the moment you leave the center hanging for your opponent to take over. So let's see how the game proceeded. Castles, knight d4, queen e3. And in my fashion, I always try to attack the center. It's something that you should always try to do um, throughout the game, starting from the opening. Knight f3, knight takes. And we can already see I took this knight at the right time. Logic took back with g pawn, and I was able to get a fork thanks to my center. If he'd taken with the queen, I would be able to fork and win material as well. So the first mistake, bringing the queen out, not controlling the center, led to a tactic that won me material. The game continued queen e2, dc3, and now I open up his king as well. Play queen e7, trying to go in here, potentially in the future. d4. By the way, I set the time so that I only had 30 seconds, so I am making these moves very quickly. a5, just to bring the rook in the game as well. And, okay, final blunder. When you're under pressure, usually blunders happen. So that was the first game. Let's see if there's a pattern here. Second game. So in this game, he played the same e4, e5. Well, I played d5. And again, the same mistake. Not taking control of the center. In fact, relinquishing the control of the center um, by letting me play this d4 move. So white should definitely play e takes d5 here. Should not let these pawns hang around. We can help it. So I played d4. And as you can see, I am building up a massive center. This knight is actually pretty trapped. It's gonna get um, corralled by the bishop. Logic played this, knight c6. Now b3, it's kind of wasting tempo. That's another pretty common mistake. Making too many pawn moves on the side, uh, not related to controlling the center and developing your pieces quickly. So I'm just go going ahead and collecting the knight. Bishop b2 he played, I won a pawn, bishop a3, knight f6. As you can see, the difference in the position is clear. My position is so centralized, it looks fantastic. In fact, Logic himself noticed it uh, during his stream. Uh, I'd like to show that to you. <laughs> as you can see he appreciated it so let's keep going this position is pretty it's the best chess uh, compliment that I've ever received I think but um, anyway after this uh, I castled very nice position another mistake was made by logic pushing this g pawn you're not supposed to push your 
pawns in front of your king because that's your safety, right? It's also not really playing in the center. So in the same fashion, consistent with my plan, I played e4, breaking through in the center and taking over further squares in the center. My queen's in the middle. So when you get to the center, you can choose to attack whichever side you please. And since um, Logic already played g4, after the move knight g5, queen f4, I'm threatening checkmate and the knight, and he resigned. So another game where white relinquished center control, and I con concentrated all my pieces in the center, and I was able to get a bunch of tactics from it. In this game, it was a very similar story. I was playing white, and I told the chess.com staff to give me 10 seconds against Logic's 10 minutes. I started with e4, e5, d4, not the best move. And once again, black should not relinquish the center, should take on d4 and then try to control the center squares with the minor pieces. However, Logic played bishop d6. This allowed me to take over the center with the moves d, e5, bishop e5, f4. Once again, I'm trying to control the center with pawns and pieces. Bishop f6, knight f3, knight c6, e5. When you get the pawns in the center, you're able to push the opponent's pieces away farther back. Bishop b7, bishop c4. Again, I'm playing in the middle. Can't stress this enough. a6. We can see a pattern emerging once again. Instead of playing something in the center like d6, opening the bishop, challenging my center, a6 doesn't really do anything about that, right? So my next move is pretty poetic. Queen d5, right in the middle. Threatening checkmate. He who controls the center controls the whole board. Now, knight a6 is the only defensive move, but first he decided to check me. That's a pretty typical reaction. However, sometimes when you when you delay your defense, uh, I could just play another move, and now there are two things to worry about instead of just one. So I won another piece, and okay, he did find knight h6, defending the pawn. However, I decided to activate my bishop. I'm threatening to take the knight and then checkmate. He found the best defensive move. However, it's too late. And once again, my next move is going to the center. Queen e7, not to lose the queen. And here, black resigned because of the overwhelming pressure against the king and how good my position actually is. So if we can see the pattern here of playing the center, how effective it can be, and why we should strive to fight for it and not give it up to the opponent so easily from the very beginning. So this is, in my opinion, one of the biggest mistakes that beginner players make. So Logic, hope this helps if you see this and everybody else. Um, such an honor to play you and such a humble and really nice dude. Um, and I'll leave you guys with this. Good shit, bro. That was super fun. I enjoyed your stream last night. Uh, you seem like a really sweet person. Thank you. Um, keep kicking ass, and thank you for humiliating the shit out of me. <laughs> uh, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Let's play this person here. All right. See you guys in the next video.